right. Hello, everyone. Pretty excited about that new uh, countdown timer with the overlay that I got made there. So I wanted to show you how I did that. Pretty easy, really. And also how I made the other overlay, which I should have had up already, but we're practicing getting better at this. So I'm brand new to StreamYard. And of course, I dug right into how to create my own custom overlays and then the countdown timer. So couple of things that I think would be interesting and maybe help you out. So let's share the screen, hop over there to Google Slides. So I use Google Slides to, to start making some overlay, overlays because I heard that PowerPoint and uh, now let me go back to my stream here and make sure we got the right view going. I didn't add it yet. So here we go. All right. There's Google Slides and um, somebody had mentioned, I think it was in the StreamYard uh, support there, that you could use PowerPoint or Google Slides to create overlays. So I thought, well, that's after going through a lot of the other places that you could Google and find a lot of different overlay makers out there and overlays you can purchase and customize, um, get Photoshop files, PNG files. In order to have the transparent background, you have to have Photoshop and have the Photoshop files or something that'll work with that. So here, um within slides and probably the same or similar in powerpoint you can just take that whole slide and choose the background color and choose transparent so that's what i've done on each of these slides and then you just add the elements like the rectangle shape that's behind that let's see we can move that logo move that shape see we just have a rectangle there with a text box on it um, and just did a little customization to the text with the, the shadowing and whatnot. And then we throw that shape up there. Add the border match the background of the text box. And then I've got another border complementing the logo colors around that text box. as well, Or that shape, I guess. Instead of using the background for the text box, I use a, sh a separate shape. So you can see it. Th the text is separate. That way you can get that element to go and run all the way through the slide. This part does fall off here, but you'll see, you know, if you're looking at my stream overlay as it sits, up there in the corner, it, it runs off, and I like the way the lines disappear. It doesn't have the border at the end in the top left corner there. So that's why it looks in that particular way. Trying my different views here. Here we go right here so that's really it that's my basic overlay right there so once i have that figured out and i made a few versions i think if we go down here and look at this slide you know i, I was working through this and i had some circles and i kind of just looked at what Streamyard had done for theirs right and we know what that looks like let's try theirs that one live with Streamyard, right that so they've got the and I use a similar blue for our brand, so that was easy to kind of look something like that. They've got a nice line under there, the logo in the circle. My logo is rectangular, so um, that's why this worked better as far as that shape. We go back over here. So worked out a few versions of that and variations, and I saved that slide. These down here are just things I could work on later. But up here, we got basic slide. We've got the live view slide. I've got a slide we can throw up that says stream will begin soon. Stream over Zoom. Um, then I copy. I just duplicate these a few times and then keep working with them so the top banner stays the same. So that's how I made the overlays in Google Slides. And then I use my video editor on my PC. Let's see if we can share that, which is PowerDirector. So I'm using PowerDirector and figured out how to make a countdown timer within PowerDirector that we showed at the beginning and i'll show it while i try and work on the screen share here let's show this countdown again all right so that's how i made the overlay in google slides in the next video i'm going to show you how i made the countdown timer in power director so we'll see you on that one